Hey you, I'm your nutrition coach. My name is Jackie Poole. Welcome to Happiness is a Healthier Habit. Let's get today's episode started. Hello, hello. Welcome to today's show, my friend. I am so glad that you are here with me on this Tuesday. I hope you're enjoying your summer, our first full-on week of summer. And let me tell you, we spent it at the lake. We love Kenyon Lake. It is one of our favorite lakes around here. We're about an hour, a little bit less than an hour from them. And that's where we spent our Saturday. And the only thing we don't like about that is taking all of our stuff into like the area. And it's pretty steep and it can be kind of like off-roading on a wagon, right? And so it's the little kids can only help so much. And so putting things up can take about an hour, like setting up all our tents, our you know, bags, putting the sunscreen on, all that good stuff. But we had a really good time. And something that really puts things in perspective is how much of a help I am to my husband as far as being able to help him carry the big tents, the big tube that we had, the cooler, Like all of those things can get pretty heavy when you have ice, when you have all your food. And so coming down was a real challenge. But also when we were going up, you know, picking all of our stuff, the kids are tired. And so being aware that you're able to help and that you're able to go up that you know off-roading rocks and sand and so that just puts things a little bit in perspective of what taking care of yourself can do because if I was to be you know not as physical as I am uh, I don't do the weights I you know don't stay hydrated I would have been really tired stopping all the time it would have taken longer to get our things set up so Let's just say that you should be proud of yourself if you're able to accomplish those little things and those little things that you may think are not, you know, important or irrelevant or they're like, oh, it's just, it was nothing. It is something because you are making your life easier and it's so much better, it's so much more fun the way you can enjoy life by being able to do those things because I you know I felt really proud about myself doing those things and you know being able to set up and not having to be like you know running out of breath or just like exhausted or done after that like we were able to swim and go and take the boys like we went really far into um the lake and you know I had to swim them out there and so it takes endurance it it takes definitely a lot of work towards that and the kids had so much fun we spent so much time in the water and I am so dark right now so I made sure I had a lot of sunscreen on but that's just a little kind of nugget that I want you to take today because even if it's the smallest things it makes life better and working on yourself every day can only improve your life it's not going to make it by any means take time away it's a waste of time it is not when you put things in perspective especially with things like this that I could have just kept going because we were there for like seven hours we got there at nine and we left like at 3 30 you know so we were there for a really long time So I just want to put that in perspective for you and we'll go ahead and move on to the episode today because this is something that's also been on my mind about losing weight, right? And I think I shared a little bit about this earlier. You know, I had been trying to lose weight for a really long time and it can get to a point where 
or I got to a point where I was tracking everything. You know, I felt like I was doing everything right. I was weighing myself every day. I was kind of like putting myself in this mental set. Like I'm a coach. I should know this. I should know better. I should do this. I should do that. And so I was thinking about that, all of that and also about like the things I should take this, I should take that. And so going back to these past two weeks, you know, I've, I'm at a goal number right now where I am comfortable. So I'm at a number where I'm super comfortable. I am happy. Like I think a sweet spot for me is between like 125 and 130 and anything after that I kind of you know my clothes start feeling a little snug and I'm not comfortable and right now like I took some shorts to the lake that I had not worn probably since last year and I was so upset because I lost them in the lake and so but I was able to fit on them and so With that nuance, you know, it's great to take measurements, it's great to track your food, but it should be more awareness to see how your body feels, right? It's more of a learning curve when you start doing all of these those things and kind of help you, you know, build off that. Because you want to get to a point where you're not tracking all the time, where you can just kind of gauge it and see and talk to your body and see how things are working. So when you think about why you're not losing weight, there's really two perspectives, right? There's that perspective of you, you're that person, number one, you're that person that is doing everything right. You're tracking everything, you're weighing yourself, you're weighing your food, you're focus on your sleep, you're doing all the workouts, you know, you're taking all the supplements and something's not clicking. And so what the only thing that I can think of when that happens, which I feel like I was there and I think it helped me being a week alone just by myself It's just kind of centering yourself, like what really matters, you know, listening to your body, listening to your hormones, your cues, are you really hungry, you know, one of the best things that you can do if you feel or if you're in this area where you feel like you're doing everything right and it's just not coming off is honestly just focus on protein, right? Don't weigh your food, just make sure you're eating a lot more of high protein foods and make sure that's like the staple of your plate when you're eating right whether it's your snacks or things like that you know you big amount or a good amount of protein which should be about a third of your plate some veggies and then you know maybe some carbs whether it be like good you know rice sweet potatoes whatever right you want to make sure that protein is the center of your meals And just kind of do intuitive eating and go about that, right? Something that I've said before is you should be hungry in the morning when you wake up. And whether I believe that's true, you might not feel that way, right? Because we're not training our body to really focus and sown with our hormones and so our hormones trigger how we feel how hungry when we're hungry and so sometimes like I said we're doing all the things we're fasting we're strength training we are doing all the workouts and so we want to focus on that number one if you feel like you're that person that's doing everything is focus on the protein aspect of your meals you don't have to weigh your food you don't have to track it if you're somebody that's just feeling overwhelmed right now and I don't want to add like another stress right to what you are doing right now so honestly just number one focus on that thing which is protein and make sure you have enough of it throughout the day make sure you feel satisfied throughout the day 
and that will help you keep your goals in line and don't worry about the scale anymore for a certain amount of time just go for like two weeks without worrying about the scale you know if you're doing all the right things if you're sleeping if you're managing your stress because honestly when I think as women we are more hyper focused a little bit more on our self-image on our weight um, how our clothes fit what we want to wear we have a lot of tendencies to compare and so as opposed to like men I feel like they don't have that right like my husband he like can go a week really well and can literally drop like 15 pounds in one week And I'm like, oh my God, how did you do that, right? But he's not one to be like, I did this, I did that, I did that. And I think that's just men in general as far as like they're not so focused uh, I feel like as we women are especially like if you had a type of body before pregnancy and then you went and had kids. I know I've been there three times and so sometimes I can get a little in my head on how I want my body to look but it's not necessarily the most important thing as far as the most important thing would be I guess how you feel and honestly I'm a size small I'm I weigh right now I'm a right under 130 pounds right and so I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing. I, when I go on my tangents of my sleep is not good, I focus on working on my sleep, I'm working on, you know, having some me time. And so those little things will make a big difference on how that is. Especially again, if our focus right now is like, oh my God, why can't I lose weight if I'm doing everything right? So I know it can be very challenging to get things done around the house, but I have a very simple solution. Feeling overwhelmed with kids being at home can lead you to think that you might have to push your weight loss journey or weight loss goals um, because it's not the right time, right? I have time, I'll do it later when they start back to school. But then we have back to school, we're getting them to school, we're buying all these things and then we have all of these holidays coming up and then we let ourselves just keep pushing it back to later. So the time to work on yourself is now. The kids are looking up to you and I can guarantee you a sustainable process for making it simple with a step-by-step program to lose weight and keep the results with my habitual sunrise map coaching program. You know, again, Life can be a little bit overwhelming, but having accountability to finally see results, feel energized, feel confident in your own skin, in your own body, feel good where you're at right now, and feel so happy on the progress that you're going to be making to finally losing weight. So schedule a discovery call today. The link will be below. Now back to the show. Now, if you're on the other side of the coin, my friend, where you are somebody that's just now trying to lose weight, right? Or you are considered overweight or you're just not happy with how much weight you've put on and you tried losing it and you tried doing the diet and just not seem to be working or you know you don't see or don't think that your results are happening fast enough um one way to track your health a little bit is just doing a waist to hip ratio And so that's a quick measure of a fat distribution that may help indicate like a person's overall health, right? And so people can carry more weight around their middle than their hips. And this may be at a higher risk of developing certain conditions like heart disease or type 2 diabetes. So if you're just concerned that, you know, you might not be healthy or you could be a little bit better at, you know, 
taking care of yourself, that is just one tiny indication that can give you a perspective, right? And so what you're looking for is you measure your um, your waist, which is right above your belly button, and then you measure your your hips. So you do that, and so you divide your waist by your hips, and then that number should be less than 0.85. So if you're right at 8.5 or bigger, then you might want to consider some of the tips that I'm about to give you to improve your way of losing weight. And this is going to go for everybody right I talked a little bit about protein earlier and honestly that is going to be number one if you feel like the weight isn't coming off because like I said we have two options here we're doing everything it's not working we're stressing over it so we need to change our focus and our mindset on what really matters and so now we're at Option number two, where you've tried things, um, not consistent, you're not seeing results. And so these are some of the minimal things that you can do to really see some changes. And honestly, when you're trying something, I would only make one change at a time, right? Because the goal here is not to feel overwhelmed. It's not to feel like you have all of this homework to do. It's not to feel like you have to try all of these things to see results, right? These are daily things that you can incorporate in your daily life that don't involve you buying something or going extreme or anything like that these are things that I believe that will help you not only maintain a good physical you know body but as well as help you live a good lifestyle help you to stay mobile help you to feel better and so like I mentioned earlier protein is a great way to start that but another way to really help you focus on burning more fat is just taking daily walks throughout the day right this could be after your meals this could be fasted there's a lot of studies that show that when you walk fasted you increase the rate at what fat is being used right because there's nothing in your system there's no glucose there's you know so the stored fuel that you have which is fat is going to be used first in this when you're doing slow in you know slow cardio like walking and so that is the number one thing that honestly I would focus on is just one protein focus on your protein see how that is you know you don't have to track it just for a few days where you're at a good recommendation that is good for a lot of people and a lot of studies show is between 0.8 to 1 gram of body weight right so if you're 100 pounds then you want to hit 100 grams of protein or points you know if you're doing the math 0.6 about 75 grams of protein so that's just like a little bit of a ratio of what you can get so one focus on protein you can either track it, you know yourself, know thyself, right? You know what you can take and when you can't. If you really want to find out, just, you know, take three days out of your week to really focus and hone on where you're at just to see, right? It's a good way of knowing and bringing awareness of where you are currently. After that, if you don't want to track, great, you know, but at least you know where you're at and maybe where you need to add some, right? So two things, it's just protein and make sure you're adding walking to your daily life, whether it's fasted, whether it's after meals, whether it's after dinner, include a little bit of walk throughout the day. Those are the two things that I would focus on if you're really, you know, struggling to lose weight or the weight is not wanting to come off.
Now, I just want to remind you that if you're ready to get coached on nutrition and how to feed your body, just remember that every setback is set up for a comeback, right? When we fail, we learn new things. And we learn how to feed our body to trial and error. And the thing about this is not everyone is the same. Everybody is so different. What's good for you might not work for me. And what's good for me might not work for you. But the things mentioned today are kind of universal staples that should be taken in consideration. Because we are meant to move. We are not meant to be sitting all day we are meant to have you know skeletal muscle in us we are meant we need that and so how are we going to get that through protein and so through today's conversation i want you to keep pushing forward you know stay focused on your goals and never really lose sight of the bigger picture which is if you're consistent, if you're persistent, and if you keep dedicating yourself, you will have success. So just never give up. And I want to leave you with this for, you know, our end of our episode here is just write down a goal for you this week. You know, incorporate just one healthy habit into your daily routine. And like I mentioned, this could be, you know, focusing on eating more protein, drinking an extra glass of water. You know, maybe you need, you're needing to eat more vegetables, adding that extra walk. Small changes can lead to significant improvements over time. So don't take that as if it's something small. Because it may look small now, but it's going to make a big difference later on. Thanks for listening today and I'll chat with you next time, friend. Bye.